Tato, you were saying that there were some interesting numbers out of the OECD that to get to zero hunger uh, targets for sustainable development and for agriculture sectors around the world to meet their emissions targets set at Paris, productivity has to increase by what percentage? 28% over the next decade. So if you know that if you look at, at what that was over the last decade, this is three times higher than what we achieved before. You know, this this is, you know, you know, this is something that if we really want to be able to find this balance between feeding the world and reducing emissions, if we want to be able to feed the world and still have people live in it, agriculture production productivity growth needs to be put on steroids. And that's uh, an, an, an initiative and effort that, that everybody needs to be able to roll up their sleeves and get, get involved in. We're talking metaphoric steroids. That's, that's right. And, and, and you know, the, the steroids, the, 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 what, we're, what we need is, is research and innovation, right? We need new tools, new technologies. We need to find ways to, to boost that, that productivity. That, that's, what, that's what's going to get us to that, that level or as close to that level as we can. So here in Canada, if we were to take that you know, tripling productivity um, notion, what would that look like in a Canadian context? Yeah, that, that looks, that's looking at how do we figure out how to, to really boost our yields, right? How, how do we figure out how we get more production off the same amount of land with fewer inputs? And, and, and you do that through better varieties, better tools, better approaches, better, better farming practices. And, and you, you figure out what those tools are, you figure out what those farming practices are through, through research and innovation. And, and we need to be doing more of that. We need to be looking at how do we better invest in these short, medium, long-term actions that are gonna get us to this productivity growth we need in order to, to feed the world and reduce our emissions at the same time. And that's industry and government working together and consumers asking for that, is that right? Yeah, that, that's, that's, you know, nobody can do this on their own, right? This isn't just farmers that are gonna figure out how to do it. This isn't just the, the researchers in the lab that are gonna do it. This isn't just government coming up with policies or programs that are gonna decree that this needs to be done. We all need to be in this together and, and, and consumers need to understand that, that again, you know, when they're looking at that, that sustainable food, if they're looking at products that are gonna meet their expectations, they also need to understand what that looks like on a global scale and also need to understand that, that it can't just be about sustainability, it needs to be about productivity too. It can't be about, it shouldn't be about one or the other, but how do we put the two of them together to sustainably and productively produce more food to meet the needs of consumers in Canada, but the needs of consumers around the world.